Meet Laura. Laura is 40 and was diagnosed with asthma when she was 20. Despite using inhalers and seeing an allergist regularly, Laura's asthma got worse over the years. She started to notice wheezing or difficulty in breathing when tying her shoes or climbing the stairs. Now let's meet Jose. Jose is 57. He never smoked. He didn't have any major health problems until his last visit with his primary care physician, where his workup revealed liver abnormalities. After seeing a doctor, Laura and Jose learned they may need to be tested for alpha-1 antitrypsin deficiency, or AATD, a rare genetic condition. They came home feeling confused and worried. Their doctor didn't have all the answers they needed. Does any of this sound familiar? Let's learn more about AATD. AATD affects more than one in every 3,000 people in the U.S., but most patients don't even know they have it. Healthcare providers either don't test for it or refer patients to other doctors when they present with symptoms. In fact, most people with AATD see multiple providers before getting a diagnosis. As a result, the average delay to diagnosis is five years after patients experience their first symptoms. And with each additional year of delay, their symptoms get worse, so getting a timely diagnosis is important. So, what is AATD? Alpha-1 antitrypsin, or AAT, is a protein that is made in our liver cells, which then travels through the blood to the lungs and protects our lungs from excessive inflammation. In individuals with AAT deficiency, or AATD, there is simply not enough AAT to do its job to protect the lungs. One reason could be that AAT is not able to leave the liver, so it builds up in the liver cells, putting patients with AATD at higher risk of developing liver disease, such as cirrhosis or scarring in the liver. And without the added protection of AAT in the lungs, the risk for developing lung conditions such as asthma, emphysema, and other lung conditions also increases in patients with AATD. Irritants such as tobacco smoke, being overweight, and having repeated respiratory infections worsen the symptoms of AATD and cause more significant damage to the lungs. AATD can also increase the risk of severe infections such as pneumonia. In babies and children, AATD is more likely to cause liver damage than lung problems, but these children may have asthma. So what causes AATD, and how do you know if you have it? The answer is in your genes. Genes make proteins such as AAT, and we have two copies of each gene, one from our mother and one from our father. Individuals with two good copies for AAT don't experience symptoms. Individuals with AATD, on the other hand, can have just one or sometimes two bad copies for AAT. If you are experiencing symptoms like shortness of breath, wheezing, chronic cough, and difficulty in breathing, even when tying shoes or going up and down the stairs, it's important to know if you have AATD and what type of genes you have so you can seek treatment and make changes to your lifestyle. It also can tell the likelihood of your children having AATD. The good news is that testing for AATD is easy and determined through a simple blood test. So whether you're experiencing worsening symptoms or have been recently diagnosed with AATD, it's important to find the right doctor. Let's walk through these key steps. Talk to your primary care physician about testing for AATD. If AATD is confirmed, see a specialist to examine your lungs and liver and run tests to make sure your lungs and liver function well. If you have AATD, talk to your doctor about how often these tests should be run to monitor your disease over time and make treatment recommendations as needed. While there is no cure for AATD, there is treatment to help preserve lung function and decrease the number and severity of lung infections. Ask your physician if you should be tested for other liver conditions, such as hepatitis or autoimmune diseases. In addition to lung and liver problems, AATD can also lead to psoriasis, blood vessel issues, or vascular issues, such as aneurysm in the brain. Remember, your primary care physician is your partner in helping you coordinate care across specialists. So talk to your doctor if you notice any symptoms related to these conditions. If diagnosed with AATD, talk to a genetic counselor to get your partner or your kids tested. Remember, many people with AATD live a healthy life with appropriate treatment and lifestyle changes, such as eating well, 
exercising, avoiding smoking, and staying up to date with vaccinations. But the first step is to be screened for AATD if you are experiencing symptoms. Remember, early diagnosis will help you get on the right track and open doors for a better life.